So uh, testosterone is one of those topics that is uh, very interesting, very controversial, and everyone has something to say about it. And usually, if you go to a medical meeting and you know you want to start a fight, just say testosterone and just watch what happens. Everyone has very strong opinions about testosterone, and usually, uh, you know, it's a controversial topic. Why is this so controversial? Well, because testosterone is such a powerful hormone. It's been so underused and so overused and so abused that uh, everyone has had some negative experience with it at some point in time. And also everyone has had some positive experiences. So depending on what type of experiences you've had with testosterone, you probably, or your physician or your physician has had, you, they, they probably have very strong opinions. So um, I've, uh, I've tried to be you know, as objective as, in, as sort of as complete in my uh, description of testosterone and what it does and how it should be treated and how it should be diagnosed on the site as possible. And I've also uh, put up for you the latest and greatest guidelines about the treatment or di diagnosis and treatment of testosterone. But uh, suffice it to say that you know, as far as the purposes of this video is concerned, I, I do want to mention three or four different points that I think are really important. The first one is if you are even thinking the word testosterone, you, you need to first think the word workup. Uh, workup is so important because testosterone deficiency or low testosterone uh, is actually a symptom. It's not a disease by itself. Sometimes it could be a disease, but most commonly it's a symptom, meaning it's really sort of uh, it's sort of uh, indicative of something else going on, on you know, that, that can be, that should be, you know, we should find out what it is. It's like basically you walk to your house, you see a bunch of smoke, and instead of looking for the fire, you just try to like turn on the fans to get the smoke out, but you don't even bother to find where the fire is. So when you start seeing smoke, first look for the fire and then get the fire extinguisher to get rid of the fire. So why is that applicable to testosterone? Well, testosterone can be caused by so many different things that are in the body. For example, it can be caused by a hormonal imbalance that's not from testosterone. It can be caused by obesity. Because so many different things that if you fix those other things first, then the testosterone problem will get fixed by itself. Certainly, it, if you start fixing the testosterone without looking for any other causes, well, you could be masking the only symptom that those things can have. And by giving testosterone or taking testosterone without really finding why the testosterone is low, that, that is really dangerous. That's the first thing. Third, uh, second point that I wanted to bring to your attention is that the people that don't like testosterone, a lot of times they, you know, sort of... Uh, categorically dismiss testosterone as a potential treatment for real, you know, real uh, medical conditions. A lot of times where they, you know, they say uh, that testosterone is supposed to be lower as you get older, therefore that's not treated. Well, that's, that's also not really correct because if you think about it, there's a lot of things that can go, that go wrong only with old age. It's like, thing, it's like you know, your joints can, can start hurting you, your back can start hurting you. It's like saying, well, if you're old and your joints are hurting you, then you shouldn't be treated because you're old. Well, that's not really uh, necessarily sort of the right um, you know, uh, approach to uh, treating uh, medical conditions because if there's a real metabolic derangement or there's a real thing that's happening in the body that, that should be treated, it doesn't matter if you know, it's prevalent in, in this particular age group. It's still, it should still be treated and there is a normal level of testosterone that everyone needs in order to have a healthy body and that's really important to make sure that you know uh, that you have that in order because you know low testosterone impacts other things in your body so for example you know, it's been proven through so many different studies that low testosterone is not good for your cardiovascular health it's not good for a lot of other things so uh, low testosterone is not an acceptable uh, it's not it's not acceptable to dismiss that just because of your age group that's the second thing the third thing is uh, is treating the patient not the number so what that means is a lot, you know, uh, 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 there's a lot of clinics that, uh, that have uh, surfaced over the past five to ten years, uh, certainly in big cities, where they call themselves like men's health clinics. And what, all, the, all they do a lot of times, we've seen this, is pe people come in, they don't have necessarily symptoms of low, of low testosterone, but you know, they, they, they have a number that's outside of the range. And then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, they're on testosterone. Well, that's not good either because that's over-treating something that's not symptomatic. So uh, the, 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 the American Urological Association has done all these studies and reviewed all, that, all those studies and they, they basically, you know, it's, it, they basically said in the guidelines, which we all knew already, that it's not good to treat a number. If someone has symptoms and they, they, we, we do the workup and we find out that the testosterone is low, then yes, it should be treated. But it's not because, you know, if someone is completely healthy, no symptoms, and then there's, they have a low number on the testosterone, that's not a reason to start giving them testosterone because testosterone is 
a powerful hormone, like we said, and being a powerful hormone impacts other things in the body. So if your testosterone is not low for your metabolic uh, condition, and then we start giving you additional hormones, well, something else might break, something else might go wrong. So that's not a, you know, that, that's that, you know, that's uh, that's really important. So just to recap, uh, as far as the as far as the three important things I wanted to bring up today is first. If you suspect you have low testosterone from, you know, you have symptoms of fatigue and, you know, a low mood, you know, there's a lot of symptoms that, you know, that we, you know, we will look for. The first thing to do is a complete workup to make sure that there's nothing else that's sort of bringing up this low testosterone as a symptom. The second one is, uh, you know, uh, that it's not because you're in a particular age group, if you're if you're older, it's not normal to have low testosterone if you're older. Uh, it might be more prevalent, but that's not an excuse. Being older does not mean that you need to have low testosterone. And the third one is, uh, it's not just a number. It's just, you know, it's a whole uh, health uh, sort of, um, you know, picture where your wellness is, you know, your symptoms, how you're feeling, and, and other things that are part of your medical exam, as well as the testosterone number. So all these things need to, take in, to be taken into consideration, not just a number.